Welcome to the voice of the Lord. Our verse for today is in Proverbs 13, verse 20. He who walks with the wise grows wise, but a companion of fools suffers harm. Who are the people that you spend time with? Are you spending time with the wise? Friends, if you choose to spend more time with the wise, then you will also grow in wisdom. You will also become wise. Amen. Because they can influence you for good. They can impart the knowledge. They can impart the experiences. And you will learn from them. Friends, if you choose to spend time with the wicked, we are told, friends, that you will suffer harm. Why? Because what good can they give you? Nothing but foolishness. Right? Nothing but wickedness. The Bible even tells us that the fool says in their heart, there is no God. And so what do you expect from someone that is Godless? Someone that don't believe in God. What do you expect from them? But wickedness. And so if you want, friends, not to be harmed, then choose to spend time with the wise. Amen. Remember that wisdom, what is the beginning of wisdom? It's the fear of the Lord. And so you can gain a lot from the wise friends. And, you know, even the Bible tells us that uh, as iron sharpens iron, so we can sharpen one another. Amen. So if you spend time with the wise, with the wisdom that you already have, friends, it will even grow. Amen. You will gain more wisdom because as you interact with them, as you study scripture together, and as you spend time with them, going through life together, the trials and the problems, using the wisdom that comes from God, friends, we can overcome them all. Amen. But if you choose to be on the other side, fools, well, there is also the saying that goes, show me your friends and I, show, and, and I tell you who you are. Because more or less, you are just like those that you spend time with. Amen. You can be so influenced, friends. Do you know that it comes not uh, obvious sometimes, the change? But gradual, gradually. That's why the Bible says that don't give the devil an inch. Because gradually, friends, you are being destroyed by the foolishness of the fools. If you, again, enjoy their time more than enjoying the time of the wise. So guard your heart. Guard your heart. Well, you know who the fools are. Even the Lord Jesus Christ gave us uh, an instruction on how we can know who the fools are. Well, Jesus said that out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So listen to the way that they speak. <laughs> Amen. If everything that would come out of their mouth is wickedness, and that is what the, their heart is, they are wicked. Amen. And then he said also that you shall know them by their fruits. What are they doing? You shall know them by their fruit. First, if you know that it's wickedness, what are you doing with them? Why are you spending time with them if you want to be righteous? And so, again, this is a wisdom that comes from the Lord, friends. Choose the people that you spend time with. If you don't benefit from it, spiritually, better not go with them. Amen? Better not go with them. Go with those that can lift your spirit up, can encourage you to walk by faith. Those that can encourage you to trust in God and not in yourself. Amen? Those that can read the scriptures with you, study scriptures with you. Amen? Go with those people. Then you will be blessed. Then you will avoid the harm that is being mentioned here. Harms in going with the fool. Amen. Praise the Lord. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May his face shine upon each one of you and be gracious unto you and lift up his countenance and give you his peace, his shalom. God bless. See you again next time. Bye.